So today, this video is going to be all about games. So one of you guys asked me a while back about if we could make a video about what games we play and how we store them. And I was like, yes, that would be such a fun video to make. I didn't have any time to make it back then and so because I wanted to be able to take time and actually show you and make a series of videos about all the games we have so that's why I waited till now to do it but anyway I thought this time of the year would be a good time to um, talk about all the different kinds of games in case you guys are looking for some good gift ideas um, first of all I want to talk about how our family got into playing games so much and um, that was like Let's see, way, way back, Dylan was like really little and you were pretty much a baby, I think. On Christmas Eve, we got Dylan the game, memory game and um, he unwrapped it and we played several rounds of it and it was so much fun. And then throughout that winter, um, we had a really bad winter, cold, icy, and then uh, Michael was home early a lot of times and every time Michael would come home early, um, we'd get the game out and play it a couple times, and then we'd eat supper and kind of do some other things, and then right before bed we'd play another round or two of it, and it just got to the point where, you know, it just became such a really special time, and um, we enjoyed it so much that um, the next year I decided to, to come up with a different game. Soon that just became our Christmas Eve tradition, where um, every year, you know, we'd pick out some kind of game for the family, and then we'd open it and play it and then we'd all go to bed and then we'd have Christmas the next day and um, as the kids grew older games just became even more I don't know fun exciting just because we got to we'd sit down and it'd be just that special family time and um, I think that like when kids are growing up the most important thing that you can do with your kid is spend time with them. It doesn't matter the, the things you get, it doesn't matter um, how you do it. Yeah, how you do it or anything like that. It's just spending quality time with them is the most important thing because that is what you remember when you look back over the years, at least for us. We remember the games, we remember the fun times together, we remember, yes. you know, sit, even if it's just sitting and talking, or um, just as long as it's good quality undivided time. That's like the best gift that you could ever give your kid. Every Christmas we get a new game, and then also on their birthdays we give them um, games then. And the, most, the thing that they're most excited about usually is being able to stay up late and play the game, at least growing up, that's what they're, you were most excited about. Yes. It was just, it was all about the game for their birthday and being able to stay up late and play it or, and even that was kind of like their reward if they did good things or um, we did a lot of hard work, you know, we'd always make sure that we stick, got to stay up late and play a game or do something like that. Like, it's, it's good for like, Learning too. Yeah, learning is great. Strategy, um, working together mm -hmm. too. Um. Learning to win and lose, you know, being a good sport, that kind mm -hmm. of thing. Um, there's just so many good things that games teach. Then, not only that, but then, like, there's times when you might be bored and you don't have a lot of money to go out and do something. If you've got a closet full of games, you have always got something to do that's fun because you can just get out a game, you can pop up popcorn, and you can have fun. And it doesn't, you know, take any money to really do it other than the investment of the game, but then you can use that game for years and years and years, so it, I think it's a great investment. So anyway, we are just going to show you all the games that we have and point out a few of our favorite games. And then we're going to show you how we store them all. But so what we do is we have like several shelves in my shed out there and we keep all of our games out there. And then we bring in the games that we like that we're playing currently 
and we keep them in the house. And then if we want a game that's out in the shed, the rule is you have to put take one or two games from the house and put them back out in the shed and get the other games and bring them in. But that doesn't always work like that. Sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes we tend to just run out and get one, and before long we have like 50 games back in the house again. And then we have to take them all out there, and then we don't get them put back on the shelf neatly. So, but anyway, um, I don't know, do you want to start with which, what's your most favorite game? My most favorite game is Clue. That is just my all-time favorite, even when I was a little kid. <laughs> And it's still my favorite. Yeah, I feel really, really <laughs> bad because back when she was a little kid, she always wanted to play that game. She begged us and begged us. And I didn't like the game back then very well. And so I'd always try to bribe her with another game. And we didn't ever play it very much. And then... But now, I'm for sure getting my clue fill in now. Yeah. Because this is like the game we play um, every time we have a game night. And we play like two, three rounds of it. Right. So. We're, and we're hardcore on it, too. We yeah. don't just play the... We, we take it seriously. Like, if we accidentally seen um, uh, um, another person's card, we're, I mean, we are honest and we tell them and then we take all the cards and sort them back out and redo it all over again. <laughs> yeah, in the beginning of the game. Yeah, yeah in the beginning of the game. And then we have colored coded pins, right? And we keep track of who has what. Let's see. And we actually have files. We have like these color, different colored ink pens, and we keep track of like who has what cards. Yeah. Because it kind of helps you. Maybe it sometimes hinders you, I don't know. Like for example, if Miley has the knife and I had guessed the knife and she shows it to me, then I mark, I either have a color for her, it either matches her token, or I'll write M in the little slot, you know, in here that she had it. So that way I know that she has the knife and it kind of like helps you throughout it, the game. It does because if you know Miley has the knife, and then my mom has the room, so then you guess those two, and then Dylan um, says, <laughs> I'm getting lost. <laughs> it's just hard to has, Yeah, yeah. Okay, I, okay, I get it. You, you know where I'm going, yeah. right? <laughs> okay, like for example, if I were to make a guess that Miss Scarlet did it in the library with the knife, and like yeah. let's say Miley had the knife. But not candlestick, I like candlestick. Okay, did it? Yeah. <laughs> that's her favorite. Yeah, my uh, Miley has the candlestick literally every, every game. single game. Every she has single a game. Not I don't know how. Every game, I just always <laughs> choose it. I don't. I. It just, I just do it just for it. Just see if it, anyone has it. See if it's mm -hmm. murder weapon or... Okay. Anyway, let's say Miley had the candlestick. <coughs> and um, Brooke had the library. And um, let's say Dylan, for example, he had guessed those. And he knew that Miley had the candlestick. And he knew that Brooke had the library. And then, let's say, I guessed something. Like Miss Scarlet. Scarlet, yeah. And, um... Nobody had Miss Scarlet. Then he would kind of know. But then you would know anyway. No, no that's not where I was heading. Gosh, this is kind of difficult. I yeah, don't know. maybe we don't want to get into this in depth of either. Yeah, we probably don't. Yeah, let's just move on to the next game. <laughs> It's getting kind of difficult explaining our strategy, but if you'd like to know our strategy and clue, you can tell you you can choose it. How about yeah. that? You, you choose it, and then we'll we'll tell you <laughs> we'll tell you in the the game. Okay, on to the next game. Um, What's my, your favorite game now? Well, my favorite game isn't here, oh, but is it? nope, what it's not. It? It's um, Agricola. Agricola. 
that is a farming game. It's where you like build up your farm, and there's a, like a lot of strategy to that game. Mm -hmm. And then there's like different levels you can play, and there's really advanced levels and real easy levels and medium. Well, we've played it a lot, but we can't even really get past the the, the simple one. The, the easy. Yeah. The easy. Because it really takes a lot of thinking and a lot mm -hmm. of strategy, and those are the kind of games that I love. Mm -hmm. But I didn't don't have that one out. The box to it's in the shed, and then the game itself is in here. I'll show it to you in a little bit, but we have yeah. it in a Subway platter because we always get Subway sandwiches every year for Christmas. And what we did is we sorted all the pieces into that because it makes it easier to play. And so, and we've just kept it in there. It works really great. But anyway, um, mm. my second favorite is um, Settlers of Catan. And, and if you're interested, we won't get into into each game and, and exactly how you play it, but it's a... That's another good strategy game. Yeah, it's another good strategy game. You build your settlements, you trade resources and stuff like that. Um, it's like Agricola, but it's totally different. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so... Anyway, and then what we like about this game is there's a lot of different expansion packs that you can buy, and you can have different scenarios, and, and the, once you learn the basic game, then all the other expansion packs are, are just more difficult play. One of my other favorite ones is Splendor. I just love this game. Um, it's a really easy one to play and real easy to catch on to. It doesn't even take a lot of time to play it either. It doesn't even take a lot of time to set up. Yeah. Like um, Catan and Agricola, they take a lot of time to set up because you can rearrange the board a different way. Mm -hmm. So. And um, so if you're looking for like a shorter game that you can take like maybe an hour or less to play, this is a really good one. It's, it says it's a 30 minute 30 minute game yeah, yeah 30 minute game <laughs> sometimes it usually takes us an hour though but yeah. maybe it's just because we it depends on how many people play too yeah it can take longer and then if we chit chat like, yeah like we always every get to game. Chit chat chatting but that's part of the fun of playing games um another one of my favorites is um, is, um seven wonders this one is like a pretty complicated game. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's a good strategy game too. Yeah. And like um, every time you play you can make it different. Monopoly. Now this is our like all time I think number one game because we played this from the very beginning. Dylan was probably second grade or something or first grade when we started playing this with him and um, it just became a, a tradition that we play like every year. Well, Clue has kind of taken over that yeah, right now. Yeah, Clue, Clue is, yeah, it's taken over the Monopoly spot. But um, we we really do like Monopoly. We'll spend we'll have three or four hour games sometimes. Uh, no, no, <laughs> six seven hour games. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Quite, and quite literally. We yeah. get into it and, and until the very end. I mean, we play it clear down mm -hmm. to where, you know, everybody bankrupts to one person. I get really bored on it. Yeah, Miley is not too much of a game player yet, but she's... I'm working on her. Mm -hmm. We're trying. Yeah. We're, we're trying to break her. Yeah. She likes Clue, but she doesn't like Monopoly. I'll play Pokemon. Card. I'll play that Pokemon card game. Yeah, Miley likes the Pokemon card game. And Dylan, do you play that one too? Yeah. Yeah, you mm -hmm. play it. Dylan, Brooke, and Miley play the Pokemon card and game. Keisha. And Keisha. So, what is your favorite game, Miley? Clue. Clue, yeah. If you really want to know how we play Clue, just just let us know and we'll, we'll we dedicate will a whole more video. We happy to show you how to play Clue. <laughs> Okay, so first of all, we keep a few of our games in here. We got Scrabble, Monopoly, and then Agricola. Now this is a really fun game too. It's a dice game. It goes really fast if you like a game. Just a quick game to play. Ooh, I totally forgot about this one. Oh yeah. Goblets. Goblets. That's yeah. another good game. Okay, but this is a super, super fun game and it doesn't take very long to play and there's a lot of strategy with that game. 
okay. then there's Nerds. Nerds. It's kind of like a solitaire. We we call the game Peanuts. Yeah, we call the game Peanuts. But there uh, there's several names for it. I forget all the names, but these are just um just pl regular playing cards, and you just that have different colored backs on them. Yeah. Too. You play it like a solitaire game, kind of. Squirrels. This is a really fun card game. It doesn't take a lot of time to play. And it's really, it would be a really fun one with kids. And then, oh, crud. And then there's Skippo. This is our camping game. We've had this for many years, as you can see. Yeah. The box <laughs> is about worn out. You'll let me clean up the mess while you move on to the next one, right? <laughs> yep, that's right. Okay, and then back here in our hall hallway, we have a couple of storage cabinets here. And this is our craft cabinet. We have a full of craft supplies and all that. But anyway, um, on these two, top of these two cabinets is where we store our games in the house. And... Um, Right now we have several puzzles, and we have um, the Settlers of Catan expansion pack, so five to six players can play. And then we have Exploding Kittens, and that's a really fun card game. And up here we have Magic. If people know what Dungeons and Dragons is like, um, th that's pretty much what it's like. Okay, so there we got Electronic Monopoly. And that's a really fun game. It has credit cards and all of that, but... We it, like just the classic one with, with the actual money involved. That, that's just the just, one we choose because that's just how we played yeah. it when we were little. Yeah. So. And then we have Operation and Ticket to Ride with the Europe version. And I think out in the shed or somewhere is our... United States version. I like the United States one. I'm not crazy about the Europe one, but that, that's a fun game though. And then there is a couple of expansion packs for Catan. Okay, as you can see, we've made it out to the shed and you can see our games right there. Sorry about the mess. But this is pretty much our collection of games. Now that the kids have gotten older, there's um, quite a few of these games we really don't play anymore, and so we're going to give some of them away. There's a lady here locally that was looking for some games and books and stuff to um, have like a family game night with her kids. And so I told her that um, we would go through our games and I'd give her the games that we no longer are going to use. I like sliders. Uh oh, Miley. Miley likes sliders. Where's sliders at? It's third row. It's right here. <laughs> okay, that's a game I don't think they make anymore, but Brooke got it a long time ago for her birthday. Yeah, that's a good game. Yeah. Um, I like Splats. Oh, yeah, Splats. That's a classic. That's, that's a classic. We played that a ton when you guys were little. Mm -hmm. that was like many, many, many games. Many, many games. Uh, that makes me sad to think about all those years of fun years of playing Splats. I see a Monopoly City. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a Monopoly City. Twister! City. Twister. Twister. Miley likes Twister. Mousetrap, Battleship. There's Catan Seafarers. That's a um, expansion pack. Then we have Risk. Monopoly Here and Now. And then we also have... What was that? Tinsy. Oh, Tinsy. That's a, That's a good game, yeah. too. If you're wanting a short, quick, easy-to-learn game and one that doesn't mm -hmm. take very long to play at all, Tinsy, Tinsy is, is fun. Is we have Racco. Racco's a fun game. Stratego. That's a good game. Yeah, Stratego's really fun. Another fun game, I don't think they make this one anymore, it's um, the Pirate's Dice game. That one is super fun. We, we'll have to play that one for sure. Mm -hmm. Um, the game Alive. Yeah, Alive. Good, good game. Um, we have this one here. I don't really remember how to play it, but I know it's a good game. Yeah. <laughs> that one was a super fun game. I remember playing that one with Brooke mm -hmm. when she was really little. It was easy. Sequins is a fun game. We like that one. There's Sequins, States, and Capitals. I need to get that one out and play it with Miley because she's been interested in the states and stuff lately. 
Then there's um, the Scrambled States of America. That one is really, really fun. There's another oh. classic. <laughs> yeah. Guess who? And you can tell that one's been through many, many, many miles. Yes. Dylan and Brooke and Miley have all played many, many, many games of that. And missing? sometimes still do. <laughs> yeah. Aren't we missing one? Yes. Um, we are just missing one card. In fact, I think it's that one in particular. <laughs> of course, any of the Uno games are fun, like Uno Spin. I think we like that one. And um, we really, really, really love Uno Flash. I don't think they make this one anymore, but that, we've played many, many, many games of that. We have Uno Attack. That one's a fun game, too. Um, oh. It's not even in the box, so that shows you how much we played it. <laughs> <laughs> we also have Pie Face. Oh, yeah. Miley loves Pie Face. And Miley, you found your pie face. Yep. Oh, that one doesn't have a box either because it's played so much. Well, that pretty much sums up our collection of games. If there's any game that you would like to see us play or learn more about, just comment down below and let us know, and then we will get it out and either explain how to play it or show you how to play it to see if it's something that you would like to, to have.